Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Here is your fun fact of the day. Checking the historically accepted timeline of the Persian Empire against the activities mentioned in the biblical book of Ezra, we know that the Israelites spent approximately 30 years rebuilding God's temple in Jerusalem and probably some of the surrounding areas as well, like parts of the city, the walls of the city, farmlands, businesses, etc. Things that actually helped these tens of thousands of people who were working here continue to thrive and survive while they worked and lived here. But the funny thing is, while during they were rebuilding this temple, they were people who were opposed to it. They didn't want this work to be done. They even took to intimidating the workers, essentially threatening them, saying, we'll do fill in the blank. We don't have a lot of biblical accounts of this, but the reference is directly made that there were people who did not want this work to be done and tried to use force to achieve their ends. They even employed bribery, and when intimidation and bribery didn't work, they took to writing a letter to the king. They wrote to the Persian king telling them that if Jerusalem was rebuilt, that all of a sudden these people would suddenly get too big for their britches and stop paying their taxes, stop being loyal to him, even cause uprisings. Utterly unfounded load of tripe, but, you know, you can lie and print pretty easily, especially when you didn't have all sorts of communication abilities back then. Now, the Persian king who they wrote to isn't perfectly clear who it is, but either way, he says for the progress to stop. All construction, halt. And Israel's adversaries waste no time in getting that message to Jerusalem. But two sides can play at that game. Some of Israel's people wrote a letter to the king about their legitimacy in building the city and the temple, and to back it up, the king investigates and finds King Cyrus's decree that would send the Israelites back to Jerusalem and his instructions to specifically build the temple with them. So the king looks at the historical records and says, huh, my predecessor did say for them to do this. Carry on. The work finishes, the temple is dedicated, and Passover is celebrated in Jerusalem once again. Ezra, who is skilled in the law of Moses, he just knew a lot of the 613 laws Moses put down, so it's about teaching the necessary people and handling all the coordination of those who would be specifically useful by which laws they would be work with, and works with all the aftermath of rebuilding a city and reestablishing its walls, its inhabitants, marriages, etc. So the nation of Jerusalem, across this 30 year stretch, goes from completely exiled and spread about foreign empires to coming back to Jerusalem, tens of thousands strong, reestablishes the temple, their altar, the building, the walls, and the people, their livelihood, and everything that they're supposed to do to live under God's rule. Praise be to God. Hope you've enjoyed this fun fact of the day. See you again soon.